From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Good Friday morning. We're still tracking a few fires that are burning within the region. We didn't really get a lot of big updates with these yesterday, but I still want to give you the rundown on them, especially with rainfall and with lightning on the way. So we start with the Williams Mine Fire. This thing is now over 20% contained, not seeing any active hotspots on the map, and it's still shy of 12,000 acres. Then with the Retreat Fire, this is still 95% contained. So just like with the other fires, we're just on containment watch with this thing. Now, as it is 5% away, from being 100% contained and we're pretty much in the exact same situation with the Battle Mountain Complex as the Monkey Creek fire is 94% contained, so essentially 95% contained. So we're oh so close to being done talking about this fire and the retreat fire. We got a little bit longer to go with the Williams Mine fire, but I'll show you what this means for air quality. Also, I'll show you big time thunderstorm chances that are on the way for this Friday and that's going to be coming up on Good Morning Northwest, which starts right now. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, police are investigating a series of fires that started in the same spot, and they're saying it could be arson. More details coming up. More than 600 children were given backpacks full of school supplies, and the Yakima Downtown Rotary Club plans on doing even more for the community. Coming up, how you can donate to local food banks. Also still ahead, the DNC officially wrapped up last night in Chicago. We'll have a recap on the events, and also what Donald Trump and his running mate have been up to. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. And I'm Jill Sperling. It is Friday, August 23rd. We've made it to the weekend, and I just heard Josh say that we might have some thunderstorm chances. So it sounds like a good weekend to stay do inside. absolutely nothing and stay inside. <laughs> yeah, might be. <laughs> I'm excited for that now. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. well, we're going to start your top stories off with new information on a series of vegetation fires in Pasco. The Pasco police are investigating three fires that started in the same spot as arson. The fires started at Road 52 and Court Street in an open field near Station 84. With the most recent incident, fire crews were able to put out the fire in a matter of minutes before it spread too far. According to the Pasco Police Department, one juvenile was arrested and taken to the Benton Franklin Juvenile Justice Center. A stretch of downtown Kennewick lost power yesterday. Officials on the scene say a dump truck crashed and knocked down multiple power lines and bent a power pole. The crash happened at Railroad and Fruitland Avenues right down the street from Kennewick's public market. Nobody was hurt. At the peak of the outage, over 730 customers were without power. Benton PUD said power had been restored to most customers by 8 last night, and they were working to restore power to the final six customers. Heritage University in Toppenish has been working hard to get a new master's program. And now the Council on Social Work Education granted candidacy to Heritage University's Master's in Social Work program. HU is in its first benchmark, hoping to get full accreditation in 2026. But for now, master's students start the school year this Saturday. Corey Hodge, the chair for the social work department at Heritage University, says with a grant from the Department of Education, the university has been able to expand its services to provide this degree option for students. We actually have uh, two and a half more full-time faculty um, than we did when we just had a bachelor's program, and we will be adding another full-time faculty member in the 25-26 uh, academic year. The new Masters of Mental Health Counseling program also starts this year, and the first course starts today. The Kennewick School District has an urgent need for bus drivers. Kids just bring you joy. Working with children just is fun. It's just really wonderful. That is part of a new promotional video the district put out on YouTube. The district says there are immediate openings for permanent and substitute bus drivers, along with bus attendants. Some of the benefits offered include medical, dental and vision, state retirement and life insurance. The pay starts at $20 per hour. KSD students start the new school year next week. 
Hundreds of elementary school students in the Yakima School District got a surprise yesterday morning for their first day of school. The Yakima Downtown Rotary Club gave away backpacks full of school supplies to more than 600 children at Hoover Elementary. They also delivered supplies to start the school's the year off for the school's 28 teachers. Rotary officials say they worked with the school district to pick the school that was most in need. 94% of the children that go to Hoover Elementary are at or below poverty level. And so we realize that investing in, in backpacks and school supplies will help those families uh, meet their other needs. The club's next project is Operation Harvest, where they'll collect food for local food banks in October. But if you want to participate, you can start stocking up on food donations now. This weekend in Kennewick and at the Columbia Center, they are getting ready for a back to school bash. This is in partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Benton and Franklin Counties and the Kennewick Police Department. Columbia Center says they're kicking off the back to school shopping season with an interactive event showcasing the latest fashion trends, a meet and greet with the Quake Dinosaurs, activities, a school supply drive and much more. And the event will happen this Saturday, that's August 24th from 12 to 4 p.m. Well, we're in for some cooler temperatures, and that often comes with the sneezing and itching of fall allergies. We tell you how you can prepare in just a few minutes. The first up, Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbreth will have your weather forecast. Good morning, Northwest. We'll be right back. Is that house made guac going on a Carl's Jr. burger? Smooth, zesty, charbroiled beefy, melty pepper jack, cheesy, saucy temptation, crisp bacon too. I give, I give. Give in to the guac bacon burger only at Carl's Jr. Made burger. Get burger. Exmark mowers were born to deliver legendary reliability, signature cut quality, and stubborn durability that refuses to give in. Because like you, Exmark mowers were built for this. Save big on Exmark Vertex mowers. Take advantage of instant rebates and bonus fleet discounts for a limited time only. Experience the difference. Liberty Lawn and Saw on Van Giesen in West Richland. Ah, uh, taking the time to save a Thomas's crunchy yet soft bagels. Thanks, Tom. It's a uh, Tom, actually. Right, Tom. 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 Oh. You doing that on purpose? Tom. Tom. How have we got to Tom? Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Drive into summer with a new Honda Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid, or the all new Civic Hybrid. Take a vacation, staycation, or just a weekend drive with the windows down. Whatever you do, make it epic with Honda. The 2024 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com best overall EV and hybrid brand. So act now. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into the Honda Summer Event. This summer, turn moments into lifelong memories with Broadmoor RV. Feel the thrill of adventure and the warmth of togetherness. Explore the great outdoors with the comfort of home and let every adventure become a story worth sharing. Broadmoor RV, we make camping fun. Is that house made guac going on a Carl's Jr. burger? Smooth, zesty, charbroiled, beefy, melty pepper jack, cheesy, saucy temptation, crisp bacon too. I give, I give. Give in to the guac bacon burger only at Carl's Jr. Made burger. Get burger. My name's Morgan, single mother of three with an IQ of 160. You could use someone with your talents. Me? Work with cops? I see you brought your child to a crime scene. <laughs> WSUR Tonopalooza Farmers Field. Fly the Northwest Tuesday at 6. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We're seeing just a little bit of light haze up in the sky for this morning. It's definitely not going to be a dominating feature over the next couple of days. And we'll go ahead and show you that with our smoke forecast graphic. You can see it's all going to be pretty light for today. And then watch this. This is pretty encouraging stuff for tomorrow. Look at what's on the map in terms of smoke. Nothing. So yeah, we'll, we'll have showers, we'll have storms to deal with, but air quality not really going to be that big of a concern over the next couple of days. 
and temperatures this morning in the 60s, so definitely more mild compared to what we've had over the past couple of mornings. But we are seeing some 50s in the peripheral of our viewing area. But again, in between the mountain ranges, mostly in the 60s. We are tracking a little bit of light shower activity this morning for Yakima County and Kittitas County. This is all pretty light stuff, and this is not going to be the main round of showers or thunderstorms for today. That's going to come a little bit later in the day. So speaking of that, here's your coat cast for today for the Tri-City. He's light jacket stuff for this morning. A little bit of t-shirt weather today, but then into the afternoon and evening, that's when maybe you would have to break out the coat as that's when we're expecting that complex of thunderstorms to roll through. So for today, oh, by the way, it's going to be pretty cool out there. We'll be about 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. So most of us in the 70s, and of course, we do have those shower and thunderstorm chances. So I'll time those out with future casts, and I'll show you a much different forecast for next week. That's going to be coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. And as we just heard, we are in for some cooler temperatures heading into the weekend. And while fall is still about a month away, it's not too soon to be preparing for the fall allergy season. An allergist with the Cleveland Clinic says fall allergies tend to start around Labor Day. You may notice the symptoms of itchy eyes, a stuffy or drippy nose, and sneezing. You can keep allergens out of your house by shutting your windows and taking a shower after going outdoors. And don't let pets inside the bedroom because they can carry pollen on their fur. When it comes to medication, nasal steroids are considered a good option for relief, as well as antihistamines for symptoms like itchiness and sneezing. If all allergies are still stopping you from enjoying the season, it might be time to see an allergist. Allergies can make people feel really miserable. It can really decrease people's quality of life. Kind of knowing what you're allergic to can be really helpful for us so that you can actually prevent those symptoms from happening. Dr. Hong says an allergist can identify what you're allergic to and offer other treatment options like allergy shots. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, new data is sparking fears our economy could soon enter a recession. And the Federal Reserve Chair is expected to speak on that today. Details coming up in your Consumer News. Okay, ideas, where are we going? I got one. I got one. What about a comedy show? I've seen you, I've swiped on you, no. Oh, I got an idea. I feel hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whatever your vibe. Tacos. Definitely tacos. Find it in the all new, all hybrid Camry. Toyota, let's go places. Don't fight the traffic and parking hassles. Ride BFT to the fair for free. August 20th to the 24th, courtesy of Benton Franklin Fair. No wristbands, no tickets, just hop on the bus. It's a free ride to the fair. Save time and buy fair entry tickets online before you board. Enjoy park and ride locations throughout the Tri-Cities. Extended services till 11.30 p.m. Dial a ride services also free. Ride stress-free and make your fair experience unforgettable. Learn more at BFT.org. No matter what roads lead you home, McCurley Mazda is about to make your journey even better. Whether it's cruising riverside highways, winding vineyard trails, or anywhere else your travels take you, now is the perfect time to upgrade your way home. Visit McCurley in the Pasco Autoplex today for this special offer. Find your way home in a new 2024 Mazda with 0% financing from McCurley Mazda. Okay guys, we're all here because US Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines for just $90. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah. It's a huge deal. You also get four free phones of your choice. Four free phones. Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Get four free phones of your choice with no trade-in needed, plus four lines for $90. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Amazing offers and a great selection of the best-selling trucks in America for 47 years. Ford F-Series, gas, hybrid, or all-electric. These are the deals you've been waiting for, so don't wait. Make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX for just $3.99 a month or get zero for $36 and $3,700 bonus cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. Apple Valley News Now, the official television home of the Seattle Kraken. 
From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We're continuing to track these very light showers in Yakima and Kittitas counties for this morning. Let's show you what happens a little bit later in the day as this is certainly not going to be the main round. That'll come a little bit later today. So this is this is noon and Futurecast is showing you that the bulk of the activity is to our south and to our west. But as we start to head into the afternoon and evening, that's when we get this complex of thunderstorms. And the main concern is going to be lightning. And we're thinking that the main time frame is going to be about 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. for the basin and for the foothills. But it's going to be more like 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. for Yakima and Kittitas counties. And by midnight, it looks like we could have some lingering showers in the Kittitas Valley, also up in the Cascades. And then into Saturday, could have some lingering showers, especially for Yakima and Kittitas counties. But overall, it's going to be a much drier and much less active day compared to today. So speaking of today, in addition to the showers and thunderstorms, it's going to be pretty cool out there. We'll be about 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. Then you factor in some of the winds that could gust between 20 to 35 miles per hour, and it could be a little brisk out there. And then for tonight, these are some of the coolest overnight lows we've had in quite some time, 40s and 50s. The winds will mostly calm down except for parts of the lower Columbia Basin. Some of those winds could still gust upwards of 20 miles per hour. OK, by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, just some small shower chances linger. Overall, will be much drier in the next week. Also, will be much warmer, getting back to more seasonal values into next week. So for those of us that are ready to move on to fall, not quite yet. Here's a seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. What we'll big thunderstorm chances for today with lingering showers for Saturday back into the 80s with sunshine for Sunday and beyond. Then for Yakima, wet and cool for Friday and Saturday, dry and warmer weather slated for next week. Then for Hermiston, a complex of thunderstorms expected this afternoon and evening, maybe a stray shower left over for Saturday, but not much doing after that. And then for Walla Walla, unsettled and cool weather today, less so for Saturday, and then warming up and drying out for Sunday and beyond. Thank you, Josh. In Consumer News Now, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell will speak on the economy in Wyoming this morning. Powell's keynote address will be made during an annual summit that's being held outside Jackson Hole. His remarks come as new data sparks some fears that the economy could soon enter a recession. Last month, the U.S. unemployment rate jumped to 4.3 percent, which was the highest level since October 2021. Also in July, employers hired just 114,000 new workers, the second lowest month gain since December 2020. Now that the unemployment rate has jumped and inflation is just above the Fed's 2% target, the central bank is expected to cut rates in September. The U.S. economy appears to be escaping a potentially major blow. Canadian freight trains are getting back on schedule after a labor dispute largely paralyzed them yesterday. And that's according to the Canadian Labor Minister, who ended the lockout. Now, the Teamsters are set for arbitration with Canada's biggest rail companies, that's CPKC and CN. About 30 percent of freight they carry crosses the U.S.-Canadian border. Truck capacity can't make up for that kind of for supply chain hit. Analysts say even drinking water depends on trains because treatment plants need chlorine. And get ready for a new take on snail mail. The U.S. Postal Service is considering slowing down mail delivery to save money. It would only impact people who live more than 50 miles from a, pro a large processing facility. Most people live closer than that, and the move would improve service for them. The post office can't slow service without permission from its governing board. If it gets that, the slowdown won't happen before the election. Back in 2020, the Postmaster General received major backlash for making similar changes close to the 2020 election, which could have had a big impact on voting with Washington and Oregon, especially being vote by mail states. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, we all know Tim Allen, most of us from Home Improvement, as the voice of Buzz Lightyear, or even as Santa Claus. Well, our very own Monique Ledesma got to speak with the actor on his new show. And we have that interview coming up next. 
It's time to get moving with a new car from Overturf Kia. The new 2024 Kia Nero gives you three great ways to save fuel. Available with a fuel-efficient gas-electric hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, or as a full electric vehicle. A new 2024 Kia Nero LX gas-electric hybrid starts at just $28,980. Plus, get 4.49% interest for up to 72 months. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Hey, hey, Tri-Cities, it's Eric the Peanut Guy with your Tri-City Dust Devils. Have you made it to a Dust Devils game this year? Don't miss out on what my mom calls the best summertime experience you can have. Thanks, Mom. Friday, August 23rd, we'll have $2 hot dogs, snacks, and soft drinks on Family Feast Night, thanks to Nothing Bunt Cakes. Saturday, the 24th, the sky and the tri will light up with fireworks, thanks to Teamsters Local 839. Visit the official ticket site at DustDevilsBaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball, it will blow you away. A lot is changing in our community right now. New roads, new schools, and new opportunities. We're growing, and that means there are more cars on our streets than ever before. That's why we're expanding our facilities and services. So no matter what roads lie ahead, you'll always find your way home. As part of Wheels Make Wishes Come True, a generous portion of every vehicle sold will be donated to help local kids. Power your adventures with the all-electric 2024 Subaru Solterra. It comes with legendary Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, standard, plus a rugged 8.3 inches of ground clearance. Everything about the Subaru Solterra is advanced, including the technology keeping you and your passengers safe. Love is now electric. Find your way home in a new Subaru Solterra from McCurley Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Lad Days are here. Our annual fall sales event is the best time to get discounts on Lad irrigation services and products. You'll find great deals on parts, pivots, projects, repairs, and more. From August 26th through 30th, stop by any Lad irrigation location to take advantage of these once in a year prices. Prizes too. And taco trucks on site at select Lad locations. This is simply our way of saying thank you to our customers. Learn more at ladirrigation.com. ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We have an exclusive that you'll only see here on Apple Valley News Now. So you've seen his work on shows like Home Improvement, Last Man Standing, The Santa Claus, the Toy Story series, Galaxy Quest, and even riding a hog in Wild Hogs. We're talking about comedian and actor Tim Allen. Yeah, there are just so many pieces of his work you've seen him in and his work has spanned generations. Well, he's coming to Kennewick September 13th for a night of stand-up. Also, he has a new show set to premiere right here on ABC in January and he got to talk about it with our very own Monique Ledesma. Check it out. Talk to me a little bit about your upcoming stand-up that you're going to be doing over here in kind of work in the Toyota Center. Not been to this particular venue so I wish I, I always love the theaters I play. I've been on a yeah, literally, I'm, I'm more interested in lighting and sound and everything. So this theater was allegedly really beautiful. And I said, so I've, I've played around the state, but I have not played in, in this particular venue. So that's I'm more excited about that. I'm kind of geeky about that way. It's like when I do movies, I love I love the sets and all that stuff. So I'm kind of geeked about this. I've been on doing stand up literally on the roads for um, more than 30 years. I just hate saying it like that. My worst, my first gig uh, became a, a very big deal and I was on uh, doing big concerts and then did a Showtime special, Men Are Pigs, and that story got sold. The first part of my show got sold to ABC and that was a show called Home Improvement. So I said, stand-up has been the source of my... Um, uh, joy for so many years. I said, so this is now end in, in today with my opening act, Lowell Sanders and my produ production team. We've been doing this for so long. So I said, this is, this is, and we did a tour and then I was off for a little bit in the summer because we're doing a sh another show for ABC. So we did rehearsals and all that. And now we're done for a little bit until we start shooting in uh, October. So now I get to be on the road a little bit. Let's talk about Shifting Gears, your new TV show series that is coming on ABC. Can you give me any teasers or what can people expect? 
So it'll be about cars, which I love. It'll be about a father-daughter relationship that is really, uh, she's so much fun to work with. It, it's an amazing dynamic. I am blessed to have, have been part of this. And I didn't uh, casting. They said, this is what we'd like. I said, yeah, brilliant. So it's different, um, Tim Allen, than you're used to. It's more of my stand-up, which you'll see. More of this, you know, it's a, we're here for a short time, especially as you get to be my age, you start looking at my kids and I, I can't believe I've done this. And we'll be dealing with that, an aging guy and it's a, a widower and a creative guy, crotchety, funny. And now he's got a whole new world with two grandchildren that are going to stay at his house for a while and a daughter that he has to repair a relationship. Restoration is really what it's what I want to call it. What keeps your drive going? What keeps you motivated and your momentum going through Ooh. the ups and the downs and maybe just the steady times? I've had a difficult spiritual journey in my life because my father was taken from me when I was a young boy and I had a, a very difficult time dealing with because I was a church going family but why would God take my dad and so I've had this long process of trying to understand religion and as it's come around every time I get to a dark point in my life a humor shows up and I and I've said it to myself even though I don't like I'm not a not perfect with my spirituality. And I said, it is a gift of, of a sense of humor, which means in all the horror of people suffering, somewhere underneath there is a sense of humor in this world. And I said, that's what keeps me going. To see more of this interview, we have the full interview with Tim Allen up on our YouTube channel. Wow, just an incredible perspective on humor and how it's affected his life. Very cool. His very... voice is so nostalgic. Too. Oh, yes. You're hearing oh. Buzz, Lightly, Buzz Lightyear there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and coming up next on Good Morning Northwest at 530, after nine seasons serving as the team manager for the Seattle Mariners, Scott Surveys was let go yesterday. Why this happened, even though he's named the second best manager in franchise history. We hear from the, Ma the Mariners general manager next. Plus, a local political candidate is making his opinion known on the Cadillac health care workers strike. We have what Jared Sessler is saying. That's in your next half hour. But first, here are your Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bites, Apple Cash is making a big change. Starting October 4th, users must verify their identity once they've sent or received a total of $500. The change comes in order to keep the company compliant with new government rules. Google Essentials is launching on HP laptops in the next few weeks. It brings together Google Photos, Drive, and Messages into one app. It includes a two-month trial of Google One with 100 gigabytes of storage. The company says it will expand Essentials to more Windows PCs soon. Finally, Instagram is bringing back a nostalgic feature, letting users add a song to their profile, just like MySpace. You can pick a 30-second clip that only plays when clicked. Singer Sabrina Carpenter introduced the feature with a preview of her new song, Taste. Now, something like this was bound to happen sooner or later. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. New Mr. Clean Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser. It's more magic than ever. With the scrubbing power of Magic Eraser and the cleaning power of Dawn, watch it make soaps come here, disappear. A shower. And watch how sprays can leave grime like that. With up to 10 times the cleaning power, foamy melts it on contact. Magic. She rinses the eraser. It makes this ring a thing of the past. Makes you forgetty about Baked Dawn Spaghetti. Mr. Clean winks. New Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser. Clean with more magic than ever. Look who's joining us for my favorite part of the day. Cheerios are his love language. Well, yeah, they can help lower cholesterol. Okay. I love it. My love language is Portuguese. I don't understand it, but I love how it makes me feel. You are bountiful. Your skeleton can support two times your weight. It's in your nature to stand strong. Supplement your bones with high absorption magnesium. Nature's bounty. It's in your nature. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. 
Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Josh Colbert. So I just found out that tomorrow is National Waffle Day. Waffle so day? I think it sounds like a good weekend to be inside eating waffles. Also because it's going to storm, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you all ever been to Waffle House? <laughs> yes, yes, of you course. Ever? Okay, good. Just wanted <laughs> to make brown, sure. Hash brown, jalapeno hash browns. Yeah, no yeah. disrespect to like Denny's or IHOP, but Waffle House is, it's a euphoric, <laughs> transcendent, transformational experience. You all got to take part in it. All right, right now you're taking a live look at Yakima, where we are tracking some very light showers this morning, light showers in Yakima County, also in Kittitas County. We'll show you those on the radar in just a second, but temperatures pretty mild out there this morning, especially compared to the last couple mornings as most of us are in the 60s, but I still think some of us would need uh, a light jacket and maybe even a rain jacket for portions of Yakima in Kittitas counties, although this is pretty light stuff for the time being, but we are expecting a round of, in fact, a complex of thunderstorms into the afternoon and evening. That's definitely going to up the ante when it comes to shower and thunderstorm chances. So we'll be tracking that for today. Also, these highs, my goodness, they're going to be about 15 degrees below average for late August. So we'll end up being in the 70s. Some of us are going to struggle to even make it out of the 60s, which is how warm we are right now. So the thunderstorm chances are going to peak for today. Maybe we'll have some shower chances lingering into tomorrow. But uh, definitely the big, I think the big story for the short term certainly is the lightning. And I'll show you what our vegetation in terms of how dry it is. I'll show you what that's looking like for today. And I'll also touch on that fire start potential. So all that's going to be coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. Starting this half hour off with continuing coverage. Today marks day four of the Catholics Healthcare Workers Strike. Now, some local political candidates are getting involved. Jared Sessler, who is running for Congress in District 4, was invited to speak to the crowd. He's running against incumbent Dan Newhouse. Sessler says he's in support of the workers. You know, I looked at the data, and the truth is, is that Providence, through their Catholic location, is not taking care of those employees. And uh, they need to have better representation. They need to come to the table. They need to support those employees in a way that allows them to actually be able to afford life. I've talked to multiple people on the strike line that, that are literally not making enough money. Workers say they will continue to picket until August 27th. Cadlick says they have offered a fair deal and will have more updates as the strike continues. New this morning, statewide, an investigation is underway after a Spokane County Sheriff's deputy was stabbed in the chest during a welfare check. It started around 4.30 yesterday afternoon. Deputies were getting calls about a woman walking through yards, climbing fences and running around calling for help. The sheriff's office says during their response, a deputy was stabbed in the chest. The deputy was bleeding heavily and was taken to the hospital where the sheriff's office says he is in stable condition. The woman is in custody facing felony charges. In more statewide news, Scott Service is no longer the team manager for the Seattle Mariners. He was fired yesterday. The Mariners have been struggling. The same team that was on their way to making the postseason a few months ago is now falling out of the playoff race. Seattle went 1-8 and eight on their recent road trip. Service spent nine seasons in Seattle and has the second best winning percentage in franchise manager history. However, general manager Jerry Depoto says yesterday's decision isn't about the full body of work. He says he feels the team needs a different voice in the clubhouse to turn things around. This has not been a terrific run for us over the last two months, and it was a very difficult decision to make, but I thought one that our team was was in need of and we need a different voice and and a different direction and I think that can be provided. Dan Wilson, a longtime Mariners catcher who has been serving as the team's coordinator in the minor leagues, will step in as the new permanent manager. DePoto says they didn't consider looking at other candidates or giving Wilson the interim title. Turning to political news now, Kamala Harris wrapped up the Democratic National Convention. Karen Kaifa has the highlights from last night and what's next. Vice President Kamala Harris's historic night. I accept your nomination to be president of the United States of America. And the biggest speech of her political life. Our nation with this election has a precious, fleeting opportunity to move past the bitterness, cynicism, 
and divisive battles of the past. As the daughter of immigrants, a prosecutor, and now the first woman of color to accept the presidential nomination of a major U.S. political party. I promise to be a president for all Americans. Harris's speech capping off a very different convention than what Democrats imagined before President Biden's exit from the race on July 21st. His endorsement of his vice president paving the way for a new ticket that has electrified the party, especially young voters. Let's get to work and elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walls for our planet, for our future. And upended the strategy for Republican presidential nominee, former President Donald Trump, who attacked Harris on immigration policy during a border visit in Arizona Thursday. She's lazy and probably more importantly than being lazy, she uh, wants to have an open border. Amid the celebrations and the celebrities in Chicago, reminders that the hardest work is yet to come. America, let's choose Kamala Harris. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. Thousands of pro-Palestinian as well as pro-Israel protesters gathered once again at Union Park before taking to the streets for the last night of the DNC. According to an ABC affiliate in Chicago, there was no violence or aggression by protesters or police, with only a few small altercations between protesters and counter-protesters. And as the 2024 election heats up, dozens of fake celebrity endorsements are continuing to explode on social media. We told you earlier this week about the fake images of Taylor Swift that former President Donald Trump shared to social media, and that's just one of hundreds of misinformation posts on the World Wide Web. Nonpartisan education group News Literacy Project has chronicled more than 550 unique instances of election-related misinformation. The News Literacy Project isn't measuring how many times these posts are shared, but some are in the tens of millions. The prevalence of fake endorsements comes as social media sites dismantle moderation policies designed to reduce the spread of misinformation. Around the world, at least 13 people are dead after heavy rainfall and flooding hits Bangladesh and northeast India. More than four and a half million people have been impacted, including tens of thousands displaced. India is denying claims that it opened the floodgates of one of its dams, exert, uh, making the flooding worse in Bangladesh. In Iceland, officials reporting a volcanic eruption began in the southwestern region yesterday. Video from a scientific flight by the Norwegian Defense Forces shows smoke and molten lava flowing. Iceland's public safety department of the National Police shared the footage, and this is the volcano's sixth eruption since December. In community event news, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, we've got just the thing. The Beer and Whiskey Festival returns to Prosser this weekend. It's happening Saturday from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Prosser Wine and Food Park on Lee Road. The event includes tastings from regional breweries and distilleries, as well as live music and food vendors. Organizers say the Beer and Whiskey Festival has been popular and well attended in years past. After almost 6,000 votes, Apple Valley News Now's restaurant showdown is down to the last two. They are the Prosser House in Prosser and the Maple Counter Cafe in Walla Walla. To vote for your number one favorite, just scan the QR code on the screen now, or you can click on contests at applevalleynewsnow.com and select restaurant showdown. After voting, be sure to enter to win a $25 gift card from STCU. Voting ends at 8 p.m. Sunday, so be sure to get your vote in before then. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, do you like fast cars? Well, hundreds of Corvettes made a stop at Columbia Park in Kennewick, and we've got a look at them. And as we go to break... SUR Tunapaloose Farmers Field. Fly the Northwest Tuesday at 6. It only happens once a year. Steve Hunt Kia Summer Clearance Sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. Can take advantage of Steve Hunt All Wheel Drive Sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Hunt Kia.com. Don't fight the traffic and parking hassles. Ride BFT to the fair for free. August 20th to the 24th, courtesy of Benton Franklin Fair. No wristbands, no tickets. Just hop on the bus. It's a free ride to the fair. Save time and buy fair entry tickets online before you board. 
Enjoy park and ride locations throughout the Tri-Cities. Extended services till 11.30 p.m. Dial a ride services also free. Ride stress-free and make your fare experience unforgettable. Learn more at BFT.org. Mattress Depot USA always offers premium mattresses at the best prices every day. But we are also sleep specialists. Check out Mattress University on our website, mattressdepotusa.com. It's filled with information. Like Beds 101, Mattress Anatomy 201, and Sleep Health 301. And yes, there is a sleep quiz that will help you choose the mattress best for you. Study it today, sleep better tonight. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. Whether you're looking for your dream car or just looking for something simple, we got you covered. We normally have anywhere between about 400 to 600 pre-owned vehicles in stock. Every one of our dealerships has a shop in the same premises. Every car you are taking home was fully inspected by us. It's really easy for us to actually find something that works for each individual customer. McCurley certified means your vehicle meets a higher standard. As part of Wheels Make Wishes Come True, a generous portion of every vehicle sold will be donated to helping local kids. Oh, another morning to savor the crunchy nooks and crannies splendor of a Thomas's English muffin. Tom, which is a nook and which is a cranny? That's a nook, cranny, 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 nook, cranny. I mean, they should be teaching you this in school. Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Bull riding. The perfect fusion of strength, skill, and pure willpower. Where eight seconds of glory will create a lifetime of memories. It's the Challenger Series PBR Kennewick at the Toyota Center September 6th and 7th. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com and PBR.com. It only happens once a year. Steve Hunt Kia's summer clearance sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. You can take advantage of Steve Hunt all-wheel drive sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Hunt Kia.com. Show me the money. This morning, we're at it again. <laughs> and now on College Move-In Day, <laughs> helping families find unclaimed money they never knew was theirs. Ah. This morning on Good Morning America. Show, Show me, me the money. The Emmys, television's biggest night, is coming to ABC. I love this part. And the Emmy, the Emmy goes to... I'm a winner, baby. The Emmys, live Sunday, September 15th on ABC. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Here's your umbrella cast for today for the Tri-Cities, and it's going to be this complex of thunderstorms that we're going to be tracking to the late afternoon or early evening. That's when it would be most likely for you to have to break out the umbrella. And if you're going to the Benton Franklin County Fair for today, this is definitely something you should maybe keep tabs on. So. Here's the when and where of the thunderstorm chances for today. You'll notice that for the basin and for the foothills of the blues, the time frame is a little bit more, it, it's a little bit tighter. It's from about 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. But for the Kittitas Valley, for the Yakima Valley, it's a bit more of a broad time frame from about 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. So those are the two areas we're tracking, but the chances themselves are, are pretty high across the map. Obviously, the, the lowest chances in the in the Tri-Cities because we have the most arid climate, but uh, still a 60% thunderstorm chance in the Tri-Cities is pretty significant. So here is today's vegetation dryness. It's, it's important to talk about this with lightning in the forecast. Remember the 100th percentile would be the driest vegetation on record. So we're only going to be into the 47th percentile today for Kittitas and Yakima counties. That's good news, but Definitely drier into the lower Columbia Basin, up into the 61st percentile, and then up into the 63rd percentile for the Blue Mountains. So certainly we're not as dry as we were back in July by any stretch, but still it's pretty dry. And there's a lot of lightning in the forecast. But thankfully, lightning chances go down into Saturday and beyond. Also, temperatures are warming back up into next week. I'll tell you just how warm we trend coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. Check this out now. Hundreds of Corvettes made a stop at Columbia Park in Kennewick yesterday afternoon. Yes, and you'll notice one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Our news vehicle kind of sticking out like a sore thumb there. Corvettes are from across the country are taking a seven day, 2000 mile trek from the West Coast to the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The driver stopped in Kennewick for a lunch provided by McCurley Chevrolet. Probably about 240 Corvettes were here, some 240, 250. And uh, by the time we get to Cody, uh, Wyoming, we should have between 350 and 375 uh, Corvettes. We're picking up more and more cars as we go. 
The caravan took off from the coast yesterday morning and spent the first night in Spokane. While chatting with some of the people at Columbia Park, our Riley Fitzgerald met Peter Durkee, who says he might be the first casualty of the journey. This is the first day we had a rough start at home with a tractor left in the field and a truck not working and a safe not closing. But we got here and we thought it would be a start and I think we might be the first casualty of the uh, uh, caravan going back, to, uh, going back to the factory. And this is the culprit right here. This is uh, looks like a little sword that got stuck in my thing. But I have to shout out to the guys at uh, Discount Tire. That tire there was flat as can be, and it's a racing tire, so it can run with no air. But they put it right in, Omar there, and the guys that are there did a fantastic job. So thank you, Kennewick. Great job, Kennewick. So that happened on 395, just south of the Tri-Cities. So Durkee did get back on the road with some local help. At the end of the trip, thousands of Corvettes meet at the National Corvette Museum and Assembly Plant in Kentucky. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, the Beer and Whiskey Festival returns to Prosser this weekend. We've got the details on where and when exactly in just a few minutes. That and more of your top stories are coming up in your morning sprint. But first, Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert will have your full weather forecast. David, did you remember to get me an anniversary present? Anniversary? Of course! It's Mattress Depot USA's anniversary sale! Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA! Whoa, is this your new Nissan Rogue? Yeah, crazy story. Yesterday, I was at the Nissan end of summer sales event taking a test drive, and Laura says, We've got somewhere to be. And off we went. We're having a blast. And she tells me it's recommended by Consumer Reports. These rogues are going fast. I knew I had to have that rogue. Get 0% financing for 36 months or get up to 2,500 total savings on remaining select 2024 Rogue Platinum trims. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. Giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer. The world's best. Put your water worries to rest. The Y Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. I want that. Amazing offers and a great selection of Ford vehicles, like the Built Wild Bronco family, with a deal you just can't miss. Your biggest adventures are waiting. So make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. I want that. Lease a 2024 Bronco Sport Big Ben for just $369 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. I want that. Power your adventures with the all-electric 2024 Subaru Solterra. It comes with legendary Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, standard, plus a rugged 8.3 inches of ground clearance. Everything about the Subaru Solterra is advanced, including the technology keeping you and your passengers safe. Love is now electric. Find your way home in a new Subaru Solterra from McCurley Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. At Mattress Depot USA, we realize your top priority is to get a quality mattress at a great price. And it never hurts to do business with someone local. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Stacy Lee, Camp View First Alert Weather. Watch tonight. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colberth. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We're continuing to track these very light showers in Yakima and Kittitas County, but this is really just going to be child's play compared to some of the showers and thunderstorms we could have later in the day. So as I show you this with future casts, just pay attention to the time, okay? This is this is lunchtime. You can see most of the activity to our south and to our west, but definitely becoming a lot more widespread into the late afternoon or early evening. That's when we're expecting this complex of thunderstorms and the main time frame for this for the basin and for the foot 
foothills is going to be from about 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. But for the Yakima Valley and Kittitas Valley, it's going to be a bit of a broader time frame from about 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then into the late evening, maybe we could have some leftover showers for Yakima or the Kittitas Valleys. And then into tomorrow, it's kind of going to be in those same locations that will have the best chances for some lingering showers. But overall, it should be pretty obvious that tomorrow is going to be drier and much less active compared to today. So for today, in addition to the showers and thunderstorms, it's going to be cool out there. We're going to be about 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. Most of us in the 70s, some of us struggle to make it out of the 60s, and it's going to feel even more brisk with winds gusting upwards of 20 to 35 miles per hour. And then for tonight, the winds calm down for the most part, except for some pockets of the basin that could still gust upwards of 20 miles per hour. But uh, other than that, it's going to be pretty cold out there, 40s and 50s, pretty cold for this time of the year, as will be th those overnight lows will be below average. Okay, so Saturday, less active. We's a, we've established that, and then beyond that, looks a lot drier. Also, we're going to turn warmer again, too. Finally, more seasonal by Monday and beyond. So if you thought that fall was going to take over, well, just think again. Here's a seven-day forecast for the Tri-Cities. We'll have big thunderstorm chances for today with lingering showers for Saturday, and we'll be back into the 80s with sunshine for Sunday and beyond. Then for Yakima, wet and cool for Friday and Saturday, dry and warmer weather slated for next week. And then for Hermiston, we'll have that complex of thunderstorms expected for this afternoon and evening. Maybe a stray shower left over for Saturday, but not much doing after that. Then for Walla Walla, unsettled and cool weather today, less so for Saturday, and then warming up and drying out for Sunday and beyond. Now, the morning sprint. Time is 5.50. It's time for your morning sprint in our 5 o'clock hour. We're going to take you right to your 6 o'clock hour, but first up, here are the f top five local things you need to know this morning. The Pasco Police are investigating three fires that started in the same spot as arson. The fire started at Road 52 and Court Street in an open field near Station 84. According to the police department, one juvenile has been arrested and taken to the Benton Franklin Juvenile Justice Center. The Kennewick School District has an urgent need for bus drivers. The district says there are immediate openings for permanent and substitute bus drivers along with bus attendants. Some of the benefits offered include medical, dental and vision, state retirement and life insurance. Pay starts at $20 per hour and KSD students start the new school year next week. Today marks day four of the Cadillac health care workers strike. Now some local political candidates are getting involved. Jared Sessler, who is running for Congress in District 4, was invited to speak to the crowd. Sessler says he's in support of the workers. Workers say they will continue to picket until August 27th, with Cadillac saying they have offered workers a fair deal. Heritage University in Toppenish has been working hard to get a new master's program. And now the Council on Social Work Education granted candidacy to Heritage University's Master's in Social Work program. HU is in its first benchmark, hoping to get full accreditation in 2026. But for now, master's students start the school year this Saturday. The new Master's of Mental Health Counseling program also starts this year, and the first course starts today. And if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, we've got just the thing. The Beer and Whiskey Festival returns to Prosser this weekend. It's happening Saturday from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Prosser Wine and Food Park on Lee Road. The event includes tastings from regional breweries and distilleries, as well as live music and food vendors. Organizers say the Beer and Whiskey Festival has been popular and well attended in years past. Turning to your political headlines this morning, Kamala Harris wrapped up the Democratic National Convention last night, making her the first woman of black and South Asian descent to accept the presidential nomination of a major U.S. political party. Harris's speech closes out a convention that featured several prominent speakers, including President Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, and Barack and Michelle Obama, to name a few. Meanwhile, Trump and running mate Senator J.D. Vance held counter-programming events. Trump visited the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona, while Vance spoke about border security in Georgia. As the 2024 election heats up, dozens of fake celebrity endorsements have exploded on social media. There are hundreds of misinformation posts on social media. Nonpartisan education group News Literacy Project has found more than 550 unique instances of election-related misinformation. The News Literacy Project isn't measuring how many times these posts are shared, but some are in the tens of millions. 
The prevalence of fake endorsements comes as social media sites dismantle moderation policies designed to reduce the spread of misinformation. In your business headlines, the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell will speak on the economy in Wyoming today. This comes as new data is sparking fears that the economy could soon enter a recession. Last month, the U.S. unemployment rate jumped to the highest level since October 2021. Also, employers hired just 114,000 new workers, the second lowest month, uh, month gain since December 2020. Now that the unemployment rate has jumped and inflation is higher than targeted, the central bank is expected to cut rates in September. In your health headlines this morning, the FDA has signed off on updated COVID-19 vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer. This comes after an increase in the virus, according to CDC data, sparking the highest summer peak in the U.S. since July 2022. Rates of hospitalization and death have also risen. However, they're still nowhere near levels seen in previous years. Moderna and Pfizer said updated mRNA shots will be available in pharmacies and clinics in the next few days. A spokesperson for Walgreens said its customers will be able to schedule appointments to get the updated vaccine within 24 hours with availability starting September 6th. However, as vaccine supply arrives, walk-ins will also be available. Fall allergy season is almost upon us, bringing with it the symptoms of itchy eyes, a stuffy or drippy nose, and sneezing. An allergist with the Cleveland Clinic says you can keep allergens out of your home by shutting your windows and taking a shower after going outdoors. And do not let pets inside the bedroom because they can carry pollen on their fur. Nasal steroids are a good go-to option for symptom relief as well as antihistamines. In your sports news now, the Seattle Mariners have fired manager Scott Service. This follows recent struggles by the team. Seattle went 1-8 and eight on their recent road trip. Service spent nine seasons in Seattle and has the second best winning percentage in franchise manager history. Dan Wilson, the Mariners catcher from 1992 to 2005, who has been serving as the team's coordinator in the minor leagues, will be the new manager. Angel Reese's rookie year in the WNBA is one for the history books. Reese had 16 points and a career-high 18 rebounds during yesterday's game against the Dallas Wings. Her seventh straight double-double is the longest streak ever for a rookie in the league's history. Candace Parker holds the record for any WNBA player with 12 straight double-doubles. The Sky went on to beat the Wings 83-72, ending a four-game losing streak and the Sky will next face off against Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark on Sunday. Check this out now. A humpback whale down under was rescued early Friday after it was spotted with its tail tangled in fishing debris on Thursday. Aww, well, it happened in Sydney, Australia, one of the world's busiest harbors. Crews from the New South Wales Large Whale Disentanglement Team, I didn't know they had one of those, <laughs> tracked the young whale down. Rescuers in rubber boats tried to slow down the energetic animal by attaching orange floats. To increase its resistance through the water, they had to wait patiently for the well to tire out. Then once rescuers got close enough, they used blades attached to poles to safely cut the fishing lines free. And the whale took off swimming south out of the harbor. Scientists say humpback whales migrate past Sydney on a route known as the Humpback Highway. That sounds like a song. <laughs> I think I'm just thinking of the Rascal Flatts song, the highway song. You know Life what I'm talking about. Life yeah. is a highway. Yeah, I don't know. Humpback <laughs> Highway. Go. Life is a highway for humpback whales, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me up next on Good Morning Northwest at 6. 730 homes were without power yesterday afternoon in Kennewick. This after some power lines were knocked down. We tell you how that happened coming up. Plus, our Monique Ledesma got to speak with actor Tim Allen talking about his new show. We have that interview coming up in our next hour. And we have some showers on the map for this morning. I'll show you where. Also, I'll give you a rundown of all the fires that's going to be coming up at 6.